So I would imagine that because if I were in that position, I would feel the same way. I would imagine that Marion or you know, any of my other family members might wonder, ponder, like, if I hate my family so much, why would I put their pictures out online on any of my websites or whatnot? Hmm, that's an easy question to answer. And anybody with Dapwood would understand completely where I'm coming from. It's an easy question to answer. You all rejected me. I'm still to my family. You, my so-called family, you all rejected me. So, out of spite, I spent hours upon hours upon hours using CVS Kodak Picture Maker to scan pictures that none of you would ever bother putting online. It's too much work. You know how long it takes? Hundreds upon hundreds of pictures that are now protected forever. I still have them in their physical form. I'm sure Marion never imagined that I could put out there a picture of her scummy ex-husband and the two and their two sons from when they were little kids, babies, whatnot. Nothing you can do about it. If you're watching this, this they're new. You all rejected me. No compassion, no sympathy, no anything. So fuck you. All those pictures, you're, but you're still my family, and you all rejected me, so out of spite I did it. I did it out of spite. Did it out of spite. And to the daughters of my aunt who died last summer. Yeah, I went to the funeral and I hugged you and whatnot. We used to be close and I loved your mother, you know? I loved your mother. And I used to love you. You used to love me. You can say you love me all you want. I don't believe it for a second, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to be friends with your family anyway. But the hug was genuine. It was so genuine because you lost your mother and I ached for you. But I don't think you, you would even comprehend or realize that my mother loved your mother. She adored her. She threw me to the wolves in favor of your mother. Okay? And Marion had the nerve to say to me when I said my mother had a breakdown because she was upset that your mother is dying. And Marion's like, your mother's not me. You're married. Just stop taking her medication. Just negating. Forever negating my mother. Forever negating her. Your mother didn't, didn't you? Your mother just stopped taking her medication. My mom couldn't possibly be, have any depth or feeling. In, uh, uh, oh, you, if you're watching this, Mary, you dug your own grave. I don't even believe you love my mother, but it's not for me to say or know because I'm not inside your heart. But she doesn't think you love her. And it has nothing to do with me. You find out about this and you're still bringing up the fucking 20,000 or whatnot. Do you know that people buy houses? God, Joe's father, before he passed away, I mean, he he spent so much money on hit on on one of his kids and they blew it. They just, they, they fucked, I mean, we're talking 100,000 house or the dollar house, whatnot. My mom's lawyer secretary, when, the, when she heard about that 21,000, the Marion cannot stop bringing it up, you know? She just will not stop bringing it up. And she's like, you were a good mother, she says to my mother. So she says, you were a good mother to your daughter. Whereas, you know, my mother has to deal with, even with the dead aunt and whatever, they're all, she wrote it in the journal she kept at that place she stayed in in 2009. My family hates my daughter because my daughter gave me money, you know? And you, you, turn, you were against my mother too because she gave me money or whatnot, you know? Whatever, I made mistakes. I'm in this place with people who 
done way worse than me. They're ex-criminals, you know, a lot of them. And, you know, I'm tired of just being condemned forever. I'm really tired of it. And like I've repeatedly said to you, Marian, nobody, or to my friends, I'll to nobody, not you or anyone in your immediate family, is in any position to be throwing stones and judging me, period. With your past, with your kids' past, 